Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Ox King, uh, who just released over here on JP Dokkan as part of the 30th World Tournament, uh, alongside a brand new Cyborg Tau and Android 8 finally got a card. Uh, they're all on the Dragon Ball Saga banner. Uh, now this Ox King is very interesting, because not only is he a support type unit, but he also gives himself a lot of defense, so... I'm going to use this really as a test. Uh, I'm very curious to see uh, how well Ox King will be able to defend in, like, you know, the newest Dokkan Fest uh, event that's out, you know, over here on JP Dokkan. Uh, now, he is a very good support type unit, right? He gives two key and 30% attack and defense. I mean, for a, an SR, dude, that's crazy. Uh, and, of course, it's only for the Dragon Ball Saga category, right? Now, I, we're actually bringing a full Dragon Ball Saga team right here. We don't have uh, any of the, like, you know, youth category uh, units we could put on there, like, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks or something like that. I mean, yeah, we have characters that are on the youth category, but not, you know, all these characters right here are Dragon Ball Saga units, right? Uh, now, it's, it's going to be interesting to me, because uh, I want to see how well Ox King will be able to defend, uh, because, like, the SR physical GT uh, Super Saiyan Trunks came out. Uh, during the four-year anniversary, right? And it's like, oh, wow, he's got a really good passive. Uh, he certainly could be a very useful unit over on the Shadow Dragon Saga team. Except, uh, <laughs> that Trunks is only an SR. So, what that means is he does not have access to the Hidden Potential system. And then what that further means is the unit is significantly neutered. Like, we're talking, they are just a complete detriment to the team because... They get touched, and they take 50k damage. Like, it's just not good. However, uh, this Ox King, not only does he give himself 150% defense from his passive, uh, but he also does stack his defense. So, like, I, I don't know. Could he even be good in the Legendary Goku event? Uh, the answer to that is going to be no, by the way. <laughs> he definitely is not going to be good in the Legendary Goku event. Um, I'm gonna save Roshi for a little bit. Yeah, everyone knows how fun uh, our boy Roshi is. Oh, well, actually, I, I well, okay. I was saying I'm gonna save Roshi, but looks like we're actually gonna get the super attack with him. <laughs> oh well. Uh, all right, not bad from uh, LRK Goku and Arale. Uh, you know, Global just got them, uh, so y'all know now like how much of a ridiculous, like wild unit they are. Uh, Kid Goku and Arale are, I, I would say. Uh, the best free-to-play unit in Dokkan. I mean, again, I, I think L there's a case to be made for LR Vegito Blue. He's incredibly powerful. Uh, and his ability to stack defense. Look at that 3 million attacks there right there. Woo! Uh, sit down, Zamasu. <laughs> hey, just like the anime. A nice 4 million crit right there. And he stunned him. Uh, that... <laughs> that Roshi card is really fun, by the way. Like, I love that. Like, like the Demon King Piccolo is pretty good. But, like, Roshi is, like, real intriguing, man. Um, okay, so this is the turn we're looking for. Uh, we finally got Ox King on rotation. Uh, this is Ox King from uh, the start of Dragon Ball, of course. So, I mean, let's see. Um, let's see how much damage he'll take. Like, is Zamasu just going to blow Ox King's back out right here and body bag him? I, I don't know. I <laughs> let, let, let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, well... Oh, doesn't he lower defense? That's annoying. Yeah, 120k. And he does lower defense and attack. Okay, so there he was at about 200,000. I mean, and he's taking 22k. Okay, see, that was actually pretty unfortunate. Uh, because, like, you know, I want to see how well he can tank. And the first attack he receives is a super attack that lowers his defense. So what I'm probably going to do, I guess is I, I, I think I'm going to back out and I'm going to hop back into uh, another event uh, because, again, like, you know, he took 22k damage after having his attack lowered. I feel like that's not too bad. I, I feel like that's, that's, that's not too bad. So he, he might be pretty good. Maybe we'll, we'll give him one more turn uh, and then we'll go ahead and switch um, over to... Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Does this Samasu... He uses two different super attacks. That's so fascinating to me. That he, like, as a boss, he shoots out multiple different types of super attacks. Like, that's real interesting. That's, 
Uh, that, 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 that does give me a lot of hope for the future of Dokkan, right? Like, they really could be adding interesting things in the future. Like, a boss having two different types of super attacks? I don't... Have we ever seen that before? I don't think so. Um, okay, so... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, this will be good. Uh, well, as long as Samasu does not super attack. Um, let's see what our boy is capable of doing. Because uh, I, I want to see the before and after effect of his uh, defensive stack. Uh, okay, so his his attack and defense are not lowered right now, actually. Okay, 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 okay. That that's not bad. That's not bad. So, uh, you know, he he doesn't have anything lowering him down, holding him back right here. So let's see what he's at. Twenty five k right there. Uh, there he is at one hundred ninety two thousand. Not terribly great. <laughs> and now he gets supered. Okay, how much damage is our boy Oxygen gonna take? He this is probably gonna cause us to die here. I think one hundred twenty k. That's, uh, well, okay, okay, wait, wait. That, that yeah, that, that's really bad. For a second, I'm thinking of the legendary Goku event, and I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. No, that's that's quite bad, actually. Yeah, I, I just here's the thing. It's great that he gives you know 30% to attack and defense uh, for Dragon Ball Saga units, right? You know, we need like a better Dragon Ball Saga team, but what? Why not just make him an SSR? I, I don't understand because. Like, without access to the, hit, the hidden potential system, like, he just has no chance of being usable. It's just... Dokkan, in my opinion, they can't be releasing SR cards anymore. Like, this is not Dragon Ball Legends, you know? In Legends, sure, they'll make the new Extreme card pretty good, but, like, as a consequence, Extreme cards literally have LR rates on Legends. Like, you know, people say, oh, yeah, yeah, Extremes are so good on Legends. Yeah, with the freaking LR rates. <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised they're good. But, like, here on Dokkan, uh, there's also an issue in that SR suck. Like, you can't, you can't. I, I don't think you can use them, man. Like, without, like, all of the different buffs you get from the hidden potential system. All of these different abilities. And SR cards just don't have access to it. So, like, I would never run, like, outside of this video right here, I don't think I would ever run this Ox King. Like, maybe as a test, right? Like, all right, let, let's let's go ahead and test him out now in the Legendary Goku event. Let's see if him stacking up defense is actually going to make a difference. Uh, I, I don't think so. Because, again, like, here's the thing. Let's look at, I don't know, who probably has the lowest stats on the team here. I, I think probably Roshi, 11,000 defense. And then here's King Piccolo. Okay, he has 8,000 defense. That's way low. Uh, that's pretty low. But he's a rainbow unit. Uh, then Ox King at 3,200. Like, Again, he just doesn't have it. He has no chance to be a competitive unit as an SR. So, I mean, Dokkan uh, has definitely got to work on that. Like, we, I don't, I, I don't like the idea of releasing SRs. Like, either open up the potential system uh, to allow uh, SRs to use it, or just, just don't. Like, oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I think we probably are going to die right here. Maybe. It depends on how much Demon King Piccolo, uh, how much damage he'll take. Yeah, 131k, that's a lot. Uh, we got some unfortunate uh, things happen here. I, I guess I should have used an item. Oh, well. But, like, you know, this is you know this is what's going to happen uh, when you're going to go ahead and run uh, an SR. Uh, SRs are going to do you no favors. They're not going to allow you to, again, be competitive. Like, they get touched, and it's, it's GG. I mean, now, sure... You know, if you're really going to run Ox King, you know, you're going to be putting him in the final spot, like the floater, right? And in traditional Dokkan events and stuff like that, you're not really going to encounter a boss super attacking like that last slot uh, very often. You know, in like the legendary Goku event and stuff like that, yeah, you, you know, uh, you get supered in that final slot every single turn. But in a traditional Dokkan event, I, I feel like that doesn't really happen as often. So you can get away with using him. <clears throat> but here's the thing. Like... Let's just talk about Goku's team for a second, right? Because, you know, Ox King can only be used on the Dragon Ball Saga team. That's his only category. Uh, he only buffs Dragon Ball Saga units. But here's the thing with Kid Goku, right? Right now, the Dragon Ball Saga is limited to just uh, Kid Goku's leader skill, right? Well, I mean, I guess uh, Tech Roshi and the SCR King Piccolo, they're also Dragon Ball Saga units. But, like, you're not, like, I, I, don't, I don't think people are going to be running the team. Uh, it, it's just not, there's not enough characters in the team to run. Unless you've got Kid Kid Goku, right? But here's the thing with Kid Goku. He also gives a buff to the youth category, right? Now, the youth category, as it so happens, has ridiculous support type units like LRD Pan, as well as Bra. 
So there's not really much of a reason to run Ox King, I don't think. Like, not at all. Uh, especially if you've got Bra. LRB Pan, everyone has got, but Bra? Like, if you've got her, you know, she's like Turles level in terms of support, just, just her support type passive. So she's very good. Like, you're not going to run Ox King over Bra. You're just not going to do that. So I don't know. Hopefully, Dokkan doesn't release SRs, SRs anymore. That's, that's about all I could say. All right, so this is King of the Fire Mountain Ox King. His leader skill is physical type key 2, HP attack and defense 30%, so eh. Super attack is the hardened battle axe, which raises defense and does supreme damage. So that's the thing. I, I may try this guy out on the Legendary Goku event. Uh, maybe when I, you know, take the Dragon Ball Saga team in there. Maybe. We'll see. But, like, you know, with his defense as low as it is, like, even by the time you get to the end of the event, I'm not really too sure that his defense will be anything worthwhile, right? His passive skill, Guardian of the Treasure, he gives himself a 150% defensive buff. Now, a lot of people would look at that and say, whoa, he's a fantastic defensive unit. But, again, his defense is 3,000. You know, if we compare it to, I don't know, uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, right? Who would start out a turn with 20% defense, except his defensive sat is probably like 12,000 or something like that. Like, you know, <laughs> that makes a monstrous difference. A monstrous difference. Actually, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he definitely has higher than uh, <laughs> uh, 12,000 attack. I'm actually going to bring that up. I'm, I'm just curious because just because that's the unit I made the comparison on, I'm, I'm curious and I'm going to bring it up and see what his actual uh, defense of stat is. Uh, but, like, you know, 150% defense is cool, yeah. Then he gives uh, Dragon Ball Saga category allies 2 key and 30% to attack and defense. So, that is good. But, like, again, they could have just made him an SSR. Boom. That helps out so much. Because then, I mean, his stats essentially would double, right? Let's just give him the free-to-play 3,000 uh, from the potential system to all his stats. You know, with 6,000 HP, 6,000 attack, and 3,000 defense... Like, you know, his defense is essentially doubling, which really, 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 really would help Ox King out a lot, right? So, like, I just don't understand why to make him an SR. Uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Okay, he has 12,900 defense, so I actually was right about that. Okay, cool. Uh, and then Ox King's links are Infighter, Tough as Nails, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, The Incredible Adventure, and Turtle School. So, very, very good links for the Dragon Ball Saga team. One thing that helps out the Dragon Ball Saga team is that pretty much every unit has Guidance of the Dragon Balls, which is a 20% attack link, and the Incredible Adventure, which is a two-key link. Then a lot of them have Infighter. Infighter is a pretty common link over there as well. LR Yamcha's got it. Master Roshi's got it. LR Kagoku and Arale have got it. So Infighter is certainly a link that can help you out a lot, and, you know, Ox King could potentially get a little bit more attacking power for those units. His 12 multiplier is 125%, which is awful, but, I mean, he's an SR. Uh, and then again, he's on one category team, the Dragon Ball Saga team. So, there we go. There is the new Ox King. I mean, he has potential, but they limited him as an SR, so nothing really too crazy. I mean, I don't know. I, I guess if he was an SSR, maybe they thought he would be too good, but... Really, in this day and age, we don't need summonable SRs anymore. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.